Welcome, and thanks for meditating with Abide. For more guided Christian meditations, download the Abide app in the iTunes or Google Play Store. Do you remember when you first accepted Jesus? The joy, the hope, the amazing prayer time? But since then, if you're honest, have things cooled down a bit? God wants you and me to be in love with Him, filled with gratitude, hope, thankfulness, and joy. He saved us from ourselves, from sin, from separation from Him, from hopelessness and despair. He has given us life, breath, strength, and eternity with Him. The only proper response to this great love and grace is absolute devotion. Our joy should produce in us such a humility and love of God that we are eager and quick to obey Him. But what do we give to the one who has given us everything? Our aim should be to please our God and King, and all He asks of us in return is our love and obedience. In the book of Revelation, a letter is written to the church at Ephesus, who Jesus claims has lost their first love, their first love of Jesus. But do you ache for those joyful feelings of first love again? Well, join me as we meditate, reflect, and pray about joy in Christ from Psalm chapter 51, verse 12. But before we begin, please join me in a time of opening prayer. Dear Jesus, You saved me. It almost sounds cliche as I say it because those words have been said so often, but I really mean it. From the darkness, from the pit, you saved me. You saved me. Please help me to understand that in a fresh new way today, every day. Restore my faith every morning. Never let me forget the gravity of my sin and what you've saved me from and what you've done for my life. And it's in the name of Jesus that I pray. Amen. So as we begin now, I want you to remember that today is about joy, but it's also about humility. So if you're able, I want you to get all the way down onto the floor. Bow with your whole body, not just your head. Find a position that helps you remember to humble yourself in the presence of the most holy God. Find time now, find margin to be still, quiet, and humbled before God. Staying there for a moment with your eyes still closed, consider what is blocking you today? What is distracting you? What's keeping you from connecting with God? Confess that now. He is the God of salvation. That is no small thing. He is the God who redeems and renews. Give Him your ear now. Listen carefully to what He has to say to you as I read David's prayer from Psalm chapter 51, verse 12. Restore to me the joy of my salvation and make me willing to obey you. What part stood out to you? I want you to listen to that again carefully. Restore to me the joy of my salvation and make me willing to obey you. Do you need restoration? Joy? A willing obedience? Take several moments now and talk to God about that.
Jesus saved you from sin and death and separation and saved you to eternal life and union with Him. This should create such a joy in your heart that obeying Him is a delight. So take a moment to remember what Jesus has saved you from and saved you to. Let those thoughts be a prayer of praise. With eyes still closed, listen again as I read from Psalm, chapter 51, verse 12. Restore to me the joy of my salvation and sustain me with a willing spirit. Which word is speaking to you right now? What do you need today? Talk to God about that. The more you say a word, often the less it means. Salvation is the very foundation of our faith, so we hear about it a lot. After a while, we begin to take it for granted, perhaps. We seek other, more complex ideas to learn about and to teach on Sunday morning. So let's get back to the basics. Do you find joy in your salvation? Why or why not? Let that question be your meditation. Do you find joy in your salvation? The second half of this verse is about a willing and obedient spirit. This version uses the word sustain. So a willing obedience isn't about checking a box. It's about supporting you and bracing you. It's about keeping your spirit whole and healthy and nourished. Repeat the words from the second half of Psalm 5112 as your prayer. Sustain me with a willing spirit. Sustain me with a willing spirit. Sustain me with a willing spirit. Continue with that in your time of meditation. Listen one and final time as I read and you reflect on Psalm chapter 51, verse 12. Restore to me the joy of my salvation and make me willing to obey you. Restoration is peaceful and lovely, but it takes some serious work to achieve. Using your imagination, I want you to picture a house, an old house, the kind they pick on those renovation TV shows It's obvious it was built to be beautiful, but time and neglect have taken its toll. So as you look at that house, imagine your heart as that old house. How run down is it? How much work does it need? 
Keep your imagination and your eyes focused on that house as your heart. So today is Demolition Day. It's the first and biggest step in any restoration, to get rid of the old and rotting and uncover the secret beauty that has long been forgotten. In order to restore the joy of your salvation, what needs to go first? Keeping your imagination centered on that house, ask yourself that question. In order to restore your joy, what needs to be demolished first? Now, it's time for the rebuilding. What new lessons have you learned? What has God shown you about Himself lately? What old, worn-out lessons might mean something new to you today? If you aren't sure, ask God now to teach you something new, to remodel, to rebuild your joy. Let that be your meditation. The big finish takes a while. Don't be frustrated if you don't feel that joy today. But today is a good place to start. Ask God now to do His work in your life so that you understand the free gift of salvation in a whole new way. Take a moment now to reflect on that, to be patient for that. Join me now in a time of closing prayer. Dear God, would you, even now, fill me with the joy I had when I was first saved by you? Forgive me for losing my passion and excitement for your word, my devotion to you in prayer, and my unquenchable desire to spread your gospel with everyone. Let this joy fill me with great desire to please and obey you. I admit that I've gotten lazy and comfortable in my salvation, forgetting that there are hurting and lost people all around me. I've done a poor job obeying you lately. Forgive me, Lord. Thank you for your forgiveness. Let the joy of your salvation create a ready and willing heart in me to please you in everything that I do. And it's in Jesus' name that I pray. Amen. Getting back to the normal things feels, well, normal. Falling back into routines without taking time to absorb what you've learned will cause you to forget the things you prayed today. So just one more moment longer. What did you learn today? What did God spark in you in your prayer? I hope you will commit to praying Psalm 51 regularly. Ask Him several times every day to restore the joy of your salvation. 
I hope you do set aside time to read Psalm 51 today. And just even that portion, to restore the joy of your salvation. And I hope it reminds you of your first love. And that that reminder brings you into that place of peace that lasts throughout your day as you continue to meditate, reflect, pray, and abide in Christ. We hope this meditation brought you peace. For more Christian meditations, download the Abide app in iTunes or the Google Play Store.